What we all have to learn is how to let the game come to us, like how to be aggressive, but at the same time, like take what the game gives us, right? Everybody can't be a franchise player, right? Everybody can't be Kyrie. Very few people get to dribble, 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 create play. What you got to figure out is how to finish plays before you figure out how to create plays. What you got to figure out is how to find plays before you figure out how to create plays. Good finish, good finish, good finish. We're just finishing up. Uh, nice little workout, me and my guys downtown. We Ubering back to the house. It's game day today. I got a game at uh, SPU in the summer pro-am. Uh, new this year, they're gonna be having college players play. Uh, so the old man, me, I just got younger. I mean, I just got older because <laughs> they're going to have the young dudes playing with us. The league got younger. That means I got older. So it's the first game. Oh, we're going to go out here and see what the old man got. When we walk in this gym. I'm how y'all walk in with me. I feel disrespected because they be calling me Mr. Watts and stuff. <laughs> They say, D. Watts, what's up, D. Watts? Now they be like, Mr. Watts, hey, man, cut that out. <laughs> Mr. Watts going to give you these buckets until you say my name right. And it's, it's fun every year, man. I, big shout out to Jamal Crawford uh, for continuing to put this thing on. You know, Doug Christie started it uh, years ago. A couple, I had a couple MVP runs, a couple championship runs uh, throughout the years. And every year when we walk in this gym, it seems like people you know, expect me to have fallen off. Uh, my game to go away because I haven't been out playing overseas and stuff like that. I deal with autoimmune disease, so I'll be at the cut working with kids, you know, improving their game and through helping them improving my game. And uh, I like to think that every year, with a few exceptions, I, I just keep getting better. Uh, one thing I don't like to do ever on a game day is be in a rush. Game's at 1.30. I want to be at the gym at 1, half hour early. Then we got the first game so I can get some reps up uh, before the game starts. I didn't get my breakfast I thought I was going to get early enough. I ended up getting a Starbucks and getting a uh, gluten-free breakfast sandwich a little later than what I would anticipate going to game time. But I think I got that sandwich at 11.30. Game's at 1.30. I'm going to have to eat again before the game, though. No, that's not enough. So I got a decision to make. Uh, get there a little bit later and make sure I get that water and a little snack in me or uh, surpass that and get there and, and get my reps up. I opted to... Get that nutrition right. So we're going in here to the PCC. See what we're gonna get. Uh, Say so hydration is critical. Uh, one of the secrets to my longevity, being 40 years old and still being able to get out here with the young guys, is a strict diet. I'm, I'm gluten and sugar free, which doesn't give me a lot of options. Uh, I find myself here at the PCC or the Whole Foods uh, quite a bit. Let's see what we got here. The turkey cheddar, turkey Havarti on gluten-free bread. This is the choice for today. I'll probably eat half of it before the game. And now it's time to get to the gym and get ready. <laughs> oh no, I went to the store. I got the turkey and Havarti, but I didn't get the one on gluten-free. So I'm gonna have to donate this to somebody. I can't Oof. eat that here. So it's just gonna be about the hydration today. <laughs> <laughs> now wait a minute. I got a little. Uh, I got a little beef jerky from the ranch. Like this is this is some real stuff. But this is legit beef jerky. This is not no Roberto Berto. This comes from the ranch. And Moses like. So it's gonna be my protein snack before the game. <laughs> Rebound. Hey. Yo, just finished up. We took the L. You know, first time playing together, we didn't do a good job of it. 
of playing with each other. Uh, our, our first unit lacked energy. Our second unit came out and pushed. Uh, one thing that's important <laughs> for me on game days is, is uh, sticking to the schedule. Uh, my schedule got off, and when the game started, my game was off. Uh, and that's how it works sometimes. I think can uh, understand that it's not, I'm not making an excuse. I'm making an adjustment. I'm going to make sure I get here uh, 30 minutes before and get a sweat in before the game starts. I owe that to myself and I owe that to my team. One for 13 performance. I'm supposed to be a shooter. Like I said, my rhythm was off uh, going into the game. Didn't get that food I needed. Uh, but it's all right. We're going to bounce back because that's what we do.